Airports are a very stressful environment. Anxious travelers who want to get to their gate, worried about their flights. So technology is of utmost importance. And when technology doesn't work, if there is a slow network, then we have an impact on revenues, and more importantly, customer satisfaction is impacted. If you think about early adopters, the connected traveler, the first people that you saw bring iPads on planes tended to be business travelers. They're the first people that wanted to have Wi-Fi wherever they're going so they could continue to do their work while on the road. Each of the airports wants to be seen as the best when it comes from an experience standpoint, from a technology standpoint, and as operators we need to deliver value and we need to showcase technology and make sure that we are delivering against those expectations. We decided it was time to make the investment to design a very robust, fast network that would not just supply our needs for the back of house and operations, but also for our customers. Today in our environment, uh, after we have upgraded the network, we are able to guarantee 99.9% .9 uptime. We have pretty much eliminated all single point of failures. We have a fully redundant, resilient network, and we are in a very good position to expand the organization's future innovation needs. We immediately saw transactions being done much quicker with the introduction of WANOP. If we can shave off a tenth of a second per transaction, that equates to reducing the amount of time people are waiting in line by 7,000 hours per year. We've really focused on application performance at the end user level. The faster the applications work, the more transactions they're able to get through. Availability and uptime, their system not going down is a big thing. And the throughput of the transactions themselves, the more the better. We're able to control the flow of traffic as well as improve the throughput or change the priorities depending on what the needs of that location are. The equipment that we've put in has enabled us to improve that and, and throttle that back. CDW has been a tremendous asset to us and one of our closest partners from an IT perspective. They were able to help us not only through the process of doing the benchmarking with the different solutions, they were also able to bring in the equipment when we ordered it from Citrix, what they call a buy and hold, where they kept it in the CDW warehouse. We would send configurations to them and they would actually have their provisioning people pre-configure the devices, put them into specific boxes with photo instructions and detailed installation documentation, ship them to the sites so that at the sites it was a minimal amount of just rack, plug, power, and you're good to go and we couldn't have done that with our in-house staff. It simplifies the process on both their end and our end because we know what's in their environment. So if they need a replacement of any equipment, we're able to just ship that out overnight in a lot of cases and have replacements on site next day. Oftentimes, the most technical person at a site is the manager who happens to be good at Excel spreadsheets. So we have to make this as user-friendly as we possibly can. It's almost instantaneous and almost overnight where the more that we have delivered in the last two years technology solutions, the more appreciation and a recognition about how important technology is. And, and that's completely changing the perception of IT and its role within the organization.